Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotouch.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at making and using a favicon for your website. For those of you who don't know what a favicon is, it's basically this little image. You'll find it on a tab and you'll find it to the left of the website title. So for example in Google, the website title is right there, Google, and to the left of that you find their little favicon. So that's what we're going to be learning how to make today. So we're going to be using Photoshop to design the favicon and then Dreamweaver to edit in the favicon code into your website. So let's go to Photoshop and get started. Click on File, New, and you want to make a new image 256 by 256 pixels. An actual favicon is 16 by 16 pixels, but an image that small is really hard to work with. So we're going to make it 256 by 256 pixels and then just resize it down to 16 by 16. Press OK. You want to keep in mind to make the favicon really, really simple. You don't want to over design it because it's going to be really small, so it's going to be hard enough to see. So you want to keep it simple so people can still see what it says, uh, even as a really small picture. So what I'm going to do to this favicon is just uh, add in a gradient overlay and then just type in the letters OT for Octotouch. So I have my gradient overlay saved, so it shouldn't take too long. Just scroll down, select it, and press OK. OK and select the text tool, type in OT, and then select the pointer tool and center that. So now that we have the, everything done for this favicon, just go ahead and click on image, image size, and resize that down to 16 by 16 pixels, and press OK. So now we want to save this favicon. Go to File, Save As, and save it in your images folder within your website folder. So my website folder is right here, octotouch.com, and we have the images folder within that, and we want to save it as favicon. But you're not saving it as a JPEG or even a Photoshop file, you're saving it as a .png. So favicon.png, press save. Press OK. Now that you have it saved, go to this website, convertico.com. You'll find the link to this website in the video description. The video description, if you're watching it on YouTube, is going to be to the right of this video. And if you're watching it on uh, my website, octotuts.com, you'll find it uh, if you scroll down. So you want to upload that PNG image by clicking Browse. And go to your website folder, Images, and right there, Favicon, and press Convert. Now what this is going to do is convert your uh, PNG image to a .ico image so we could use it as the favicon. So click here to download and you just want to right click and press save image as and then save it to your website folder in that images folder. Press save. Now that we've done that, you want to go to Dreamweaver. Uh, if you've seen my previous tutorial, I taught you guys how to make your own website. So this is what I have open right now. What you want to do is go to code view and just scroll up and you'll find the title of the site. Uh, just press enter right after the title to open up a new line of coding and you want to paste this code in. You'll find this code in the video description of this video. Uh, so the code pretty much tells, uh, tells your website to use that uh, image as your favicon. And right here you're going to want to change this depending on what your favicon name is and where it's located in your website folder. For me, it's located in my images folder and it's named favicon.ico. So that's why I have images slash favicon.ico. But again, that depends on where your favicon is saved and what your favicon is named. So that's it. You just paste this code in and you save it. So go to file, save. And now let's preview this in uh, my default web browser, which is Firefox. And I'll show you guys that it worked. And there you go. And as you can see right here, the favicon is this little image that we just made. If we open it up without this code, let's go ahead and delete that and save it. And then preview it in Firefox. As you can see, it gives you a blank image because you don't have a favicon. But with that code, there's the favicon right there. So that's it for this video tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope it worked for you guys. Uh, hope you guys learned something new. And this is Octotoots.com. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.